Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we're going to conclude this recent three-part video tutorial series where I showcase how to play GTA 3 multiplayer online, Vice City multiplayer online, and today we're going to showcase how to play San Andreas multiplayer online in 2021. And I'm using the Steam version of the game, but I'm sure the non-Steam versions will work as well. So the two mods we're showcasing today is San Andreas multiplayer. It's pretty popular from what I can tell. Um, if you're interested, go to the download section, download the client, run the installer. If you get stuck, there is a help or an archive. And you can learn more about, uh, you know, downloading, installing, setting up scripts, all that good stuff. If you're interested in the multi theft Auto or MTA for short, download the installer, run it. They have a great forum. They have a great wiki as well. Some of the guys I was reading was talking about downgrading the game to 1.0. Um, I don't know if MTA does it automatically or whatever, but I just have to know that I did not download a uh, 1.0 version of the game um, of the executable for San Andreas for my Steam copy, and I was able to play online fine. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just tossing it out there just in case that some of you guys out there need to uh, downgrade your game to 1.0. Okay, so for SAMP, when you run the game um, program, it comes up like this. You can click on the internet tab, it's gonna pull all the servers. If you need to, you can go to tool settings, set up your game directory, um, auto save your server passwords and auto save the Archon passwords if you need to. For me, I like to put a filter here like English, just to make it a little bit easier because those are the kind of servers I like to play on. And then all you gotta do is just basically find a server, double click on it. It's gonna ask you to uh, select your um, window resolution and it'll start the game and you're good to go. For MTA or Multi Theft Auto, run the shortcut and then it'll have his own uh, built in game browser, which is pretty cool. And then you can have a lot of fun that way as well. From what I've heard so far, SAMP has um, works well on low end computers where MTA might require a more beefier setup. So I guess just try them both, see which ones you like, and um, have a lot of good times that way. So, what, what we're going to do next is I'm going to showcase a little bit of gameplay footage for SAMP first. And then we're going to do a, um, the MTA second, just so you have an idea of what's going on. I am not an expert by any means, so if you wish to read more about what each game a mod can do, uh, go online to those respective websites, the forum, the wikis, and get yourself acquainted with all the features that is there to offer. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So we're in San Andreas multiplayer and it loads pretty quick, I suppose. I guess it depends on the server you're connected to and the ping. And this particular one, you do need to make an account. I did ahead of time. So go ahead, log in with your username and password. Um, this particular server is Horizon Roleplay, which seems pretty popular. Um, I don't know everything there is. I don't know if there's any special commands, you know, spawn vehicles, things like that. I'm still pretty new to the whole thing. But anyways, here I am, I logged into the game. Um, there's a car. I'm just gonna just mess around, just drive around. And I'm sure if you really get to nitty gritty, yes, you, there's different roles you can play. And um, I haven't got that far. But so far, it's been a lot of fun. On this particular server, I'm just sort of goofing around. And that is the part of the whole sandbox experience, right? So that is um, SAMP. And what we're gonna do next is uh, jump real quickly here into the next multiplayer mod which is the multi theft auto. So let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So this is multi theft auto. And one of the things that's pretty cool about this is it has a built in game browser. So in this particular case, um, I have the internet tab, but in the right hand side, there's a little filter. I typed in cops. So if you want to search for a particular filter or a, a name of, of a server or something, you can have it show up in your list there. You can also have favorites. Um, so I'm going to go to one of servers that I have favorited in the past, which is like a cops and robbers kind of um, server, a lot of fun. And here we go. So most likely you're gonna have to make an account, which I did ahead of time. So I'm gonna log in with my username and password once it shows up here in a second. And I will say that for um, MTA, Multi Theft Auto, it seems to might take a, a, a toll on your computer. So just give it a try. Otherwise, maybe give SAMP an alternative as well. Okay, so we're in the game, I'm logging in, and I know that this particular one, there's a lot of help, if you press F1, um, there's all these sub-menus that comes up, I know there's a phone that you can bring up and do a lot of cool things with it. Um, 
Of course, uh, you're going to have to go buy your own cars. I don't think this particular server allows you to spawn your own cars. I could be uh, mistaken on that. But anyways, um, if this is your thing, if you're looking to play San Andreas online, there are a lot of different ways for you to do it. Like I said, SAMP and MTA are the two popular ones. And I'm sure you're, you're bound to find some kind of server out there that will suit your needs and, and then help you uh, spend your, your gaming time. So anyways, that's today's quick video tutorial how to play San Andreas multiplayer online in 2021. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.